Hey YouTube, it's the Test Lead, and today's video is what is Appium and should you be using it? Appium is one of the fastest growing mobile testing tools, but what is it and should you be using it? This video will cover what is Appium, what are the pros and cons of Appium, and then should you be using Appium. First, what is Appium? Appium is a free open source automation testing tool. So because it's open source, it's completely free. It can be used for automating tests for iOS, for Android, as well as Windows applications. It supports mobile, native, and hybrid applications. Appium gets its roots from Selenium, which is another testing tool which tests web applications. So now you probably have a few questions, because I said a few buzzwords, so we're going to clarify a few of the stuff. So first, what is a native application? A native application is any application that is created using the SDKs, which is the software development kits of Windows, iOS, or Android. Next, mobile web applications. It is any web application that must be used through a browser. And finally, hybrid applications. This is any web application that's been put in a shell of a native application to mask it. Next, what programming languages can you use with Appium if you're coding test for it? Java, Objective-C, C Sharp, PHP, Python, JavaScript with Node.js, and Perl. So what are the pros and cons of Appium? First, let's go through the pros. You can test Android, iOS, and Windows applications all from the same API. That is really huge, that's very convenient. Next, it's free and open source. So you can download it today and start using it today with no cost. Cross-platform support. It also supports many programming languages as I went through previously. It does not require in-app modifications to test on a mobile device. And finally, it supports many different devices. Now for the cons of Appium. Certain actions such as swipe only work for native applications. No image recognition. The setup for both Android and iOS can be very time consuming, which if you are trying to get a project up and running quick and testing it, that may hurt you. And as I said before, it is open source, so there's no direct 1-800 number you can call for tech support. You have to rely on the community asking questions on the internet and just digging through that for information. And finally, should you be using Appium? If you and your team have to do any type of mobile testing and budget is concerned at all, give Appium a try. As I said, it's completely free, so you can try it, see if you like it. If not, nothing's lost. Even if your team has a large budget, you should still give Appium a try because it's a very strong tool and once again, it's free. So even if you try it, don't like it, you can still save your money and spend it elsewhere. It's also very easy to get started with Appium. There are hundreds of tutorials on YouTube, Udemy and places like that to get started in Appium. So it's not a very crazy learning curve. And just like with Selenium web testing, the Appium testing tool, the pros definitely outweigh the cons. And automating your mobile testing allows for more efficient, error-free testing compared to manual testing. If you found this video helpful at all, please like, share, and subscribe. If you want a video just like this, please click here. If you want to see my most recent video, please click here. And hey, don't forget to learn something new today.